What's up, guys? Welcome back to Jedi Jive. My name is Mike, here to react to the second-to-last episode of Season 3 of The Bad Batch. Can't believe we're on the last couple episodes, guys, but I've loved Season 3 all the way through. I don't think there were any episodes where I was like, meh. And as usual, when there's, like, filler episodes, they always have some sort of significance. Bad Batch in general has been has been kind of like an unexpected success, and now we're left with characters like Omega, where it's like, wow, like, I really care about this character now. I hope there's more story to tell, because these are the last two episodes, and whether we like it or not, it's coming to an end, and I think there's a very real possibility that if not one or some, all of the Bad Batch members are going to meet their end. Because, I mean, when you think about Pabu at the end of last season being that, like, safe haven, where I was like, okay, at least they're safe and, like, separate now, and, you know, maybe maybe everything's fine. You know, even that place got discovered by the Empire. So I don't really see any path to safety for them as a group. Again, maybe there is. I, I want to be optimistic, but I also know that it's, like, I have to be realistic in that, you know, I've mentioned before, we see Rex and Wolf and Gregor in Rebels, like, years from now, and they seem like they're almost, like, the only ones left. So, it seems like a very real possibility that, like, Hunter and Wrecker and God knows what. We'll see what happens, guys, but there's only a couple episodes left, and what's important right now is that uh, we need to get Omega out of this facility on Tantus, and Hemlock is a bad dude who needs to, he needs to either die or just, you know, have something horrible to him. Anyway, guys, I don't, I don't like to speculate too much. There's a lot that could happen, um, and I don't want to be pessimistic about the last two episodes and then thinking that everybody's going to die. Hopefully there's some uplifting message they can leave us with, but guys, I'm excited to jump in and uh, do a reaction that we can talk about afterwards. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Ominous music. Intense. They're docked upside down. The jungle's deadly. Yes, exactly. At least listen to him. <laughs> Get into position. I love how Hemlock, the uh, Rampart, is the unexpected comic relief. Man, every time they show that outside shot of Tantus, it looks so good. They fled aboard a stolen shuttle when the science vessel departed. They could be tracking it. Dispatch fighters to monitor airspace. Man, Hemlock, you're a bad dude. Somebody's got to take him out. Man, those cl even the clouds look good. They're expecting us. Uh-oh. Neutralize the threat, Commander. Activate laser cannons. Oh boy. Turrets. Uh-oh. Dude, what a shot. What is that? <laughs> She's like, those are my friends. Laser cannons. <laughs> Follow lockdown protocol. I'll secure the lab. Monitor the children in my absence. Your concern for the specimens is unwarranted. Uh, that lady's no good. They found me. Who? My brothers. My brothers, yes! Let's go! Bro! No way! What a shot! There's no time to land. Rekka, prep the repel cables. Let him maneuver. On what? You don't want to know. <laughs> We're jumping. What do you expect me to do? Try not to hit anything on the way down. Ha 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 No way. Oh, Rev Parker. <laughs> he screamed like a girl. <laughs> that is so funny. Approach. <laughs> have the entire ship searched and the crew scanned. Wait, they don't have Batcher with them, right? I was to say, if they have Batcher, you could use Batcher to navigate the jungle. 
love the audio. Say it every week, guys, but they're man, they pay attention to the audio. You broke out of here once. At least this time you're breaking in. I'd rather not do either. But Omega didn't leave me behind when she could have. I owe her. Nice. Man, Cross Crosshair's got such a good story. He really evolved. Did uh, Rampa make it? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Truly are defective clones. If you had any common sense, you wouldn't have come here. Wait, you're not authorized to be here. I was uh, checking the manifest. What is going on here? That's what's going on. Reboot. Thanks for the hand. <laughs> I need to scout out what's going on, and this is my best chance before the others come back. Uh, but that one lady watching the lab. And I'm not back in time. Cover me. Cover you? What does <laughs> that mean? Use the force. If the droids come snooping, stall them. How? You'll think of something. Oh, she's going for it. She's going for it. Yo! That was going so fast, dude. Oh my goodness. That's not safe. You fall behind, you get left behind. <laughs> you used to believe good soldiers followed orders. Depends on who's giving them. The Empire betrayed us both. And you think you can fight them? I've changed. Mm-hmm. Sure you have. Ooh. That was kind of foreboding. <laughs> Be careful. Oh. I guess as long as she stays along the edge, you can't hit her. Well, now that they're here, I mean, do they really need to keep Rampart alive? Do we go around? No. He can only screw them over at this Death point. Us down. Yeah, yeah. Take your time. The area. It's not like we're being punked. That's an animal. That yeah, that's an animal. Is it that same, like, werewolf creature? Slowly step away. <laughs> Don't turn around. Oh my goodness. Yep. Last of I will give away our position. Our position won't matter if that eats us. <laughs> Rampart. Bro. Dude, what? Right? I'm right. Rampart is just nothing but a liability now. I should have dropped his ass the second they got here. Yo, that's brutal. But at least it's taking care of the troopers. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, great. How much longer will Omega be? Do you think something went wrong? Man, it really is Omega. That's how she introduces herself. 
I know she has an accent, but then everyone calls her Omega. I hate the sound that droid makes. Oh, it's a Zillow Beast. Is that what that is? Bro. Is that like Death Star technology? Dr. Spalder, I don't feel very good. Run a diagnostic on SP-54. You're in perfect health. Hurry up, Omega. She's almost to your room. Your vitals are normal. You appear to be fine. From now on, monitor her more closely. Acknowledged. There we go. She's gonna find those missing wall tiles. And Omega gone. Uh-oh. Oh, she's back? Man, she's quick. Oh, it's Emery. Huh. Troopers are not allowed in here. Uh, a special security patrol. Uh, it's, it's all clear. Right. Come on. Echo. Emery's not stupid. Echo, she knows That's who it is. your name, isn't it? Oh. She saw him I'm clipping his hand on. I'm Emery. Omega told us about you too. Oh. She said her squad would eventually come for her. I was doing my job. Yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> You're a clone. How can you be part of this? Omega saw something in you. I want to believe that she was right. Tell me where she is. She's in the vault. But you won't get anywhere near there without my assistance. Well then. Those children. There you're you go. You're going to have to trust me. Uh. Right. Omega's not the only child confined inside this base. All right. All right, so Emery's full on going to help him now. It's this lady we got to worry about. I found something big. Uh, but we'll I have to wait. have a plan, and I'm going to need your help. All right. One more episode. Hey, man. Guys, one more episode. Things are coming into place here. Uh, they had Rampart get captured by the Empire. How that's going to pan out could go either way. He seemed like he was just sort of comic relief, but he still has the potential to be a big problem if he, because he, he's not a good character all of a sudden. He's just kind of acting as the comic relief. And then even though the Empire betrayed him, He's got no, like, sudden need to be loyal to the Batch or whatever. They weren't, like, helping him. They helped him escape the prison he was in, but I see it as likelihood that, that, that he's going to, like, betray the Batch, if that's even possible, by attempting to get back into the good graces of the Empire. But I, I, we know the Empire isn't going to do Rampart any favors either. So I could see him thinking that he's going to, like help the Empire and try to screw the batch over, but then it's just going to blow up in his face and kind of Rampart will meet his end because of him trying to screw over the batch. Um, Hemlock, we only saw in one scene here, but I still want him to die in the next episode. Nobody died in this episode. It's kind of hard to imagine what's going to happen in the finale. I I don't didn't check the run length online but i would think that the finale would hopefully have like a little bit of extra length to it at least 10 minutes hopefully it's like at least a half hour episode but if it's another short episode like the rest of them like 20 22 minutes they're gonna have to kind of cover a lot in a short amount of time because not only do we have to kind of like resolve the situation and have something happen we've got to have some sort of like implication for what may come next whether it's omega and ventress Getting together and potentially having, you know, helping force sensitive children escape 
the clutches of the Empire kind of thing. Who knows? Because they did briefly introduce Ventress and haven't brought her back, and it seemed like it was a blatant tease for, like, an upcoming show. That would be perfect to have, like, Ventress and Voss helping for sensitive kids um, avoid the Empire Underground Railroad style. That would be awesome. It would be a, uh, a great way to kind of, like, keep the steam keep up the momentum that they've built with the Bad Batch. So I don't think they have any interest in, like, really ending because the, the animation group at Lucasfilm is, I mean, they're doing some of their best work now. I keep pointing out week after week how good it looks. The audio, again, fantastic. It's frequently what triggers that is ship sounds. You hear ships flying overhead. That one droid in the vault, the medical droid, has that weird kind of like velociraptor sound that it makes. Like even that is just like really good audio. It creeps me out. I know looking back on this season, that's going to be like my, one of my top um, things that I liked about it was how good the audio was this season. And once again, great establishing shots. These kids in the vault with Omega haven't really done much. They're supposed to be force sensitive, but they all seem kind of just like, what am I going to do? We haven't seen them use the force at all. So I think it would be probably a good idea to have them in their escape plan with Omega, like have to like, you know, put their forces together, you know, with our forces combined and, and kind of all use the force to do something. There's got to be some cool little, like, lesson that Omega can impart on them, even if she's not force sensitive. Uh, uh, well, you know what? I, I Was it ever really clarified whether these kids were, like, full-on force sensitive or whether they were just, like, M count, you know? Because, like, to me, like, the M count thing in the blood does equate to f potential force sensitivity, but as we kind of found out with Ventress and Omega, like it's not, it doesn't necessarily work that way. But I, I, I don't think Omega's got any force sensitivity. I think that was kind of confirmed, although it was never fully rejected. Could go either way, but we've set ourselves up for the finale. There's only one more episode, so it's got to wrap up one way or another. I think in general, like I'd love to have them, you know, escape with Omega and go back to Pabu and everything will be great. But I just. just seriously doubt that that's the case like i said especially since the empire knows about pabu now so if they are gonna live they're gonna have to find somewhere new to do it uh i think it would be in all likelihood i can see a scenario where the batch has to kind of like sacrifice themselves in order to save omega or at least one of them we didn't really it was good use of echo in this episode echo's the one that that confronted emory or she kind of confronted him like echo i know who you are and then they had a quick little conversation and it seemed like echo was able to kind of like complete her turn and get her to like admit like yeah you know what i i'm gonna help you guys so right now it looks like emory's gonna help them get to the vault omega's got her own plan that she could potentially use with these kids to get out and then where Rampart and Hemlock and even the Emperor are going to fall into that. We also know Tarkin was in the mix a while back. He's the one that kind of, like, was not happy with Hemlock's progress. Even though the Emperor was like, you have, like, full-on blank check status for the Empire, Tarkin was the one that was like, you better come up with some results, because, like, you are getting way too much of our money right now. And we know Tarkin has enormous pull. Like, he's he commands Vader. So... I can see them bringing Tarkin back and having Tarkin be the one that's just like, sorry, Hemlock, you've wasted too much time and money. Goodbye. That would be fantastic. I'd love to see Tarkin be the one that has Hemlock executed or something like that. And we know the Empire, the Emperor doesn't care about Hemlock. He just wants his experiments completed and to meet an end. So how many people and officers have to die to get there it's irrelevant to them guys love the show i'm sad that it's ending next week i've enjoyed it so much but i'm also really happy that it was such a good season so successful and, and i loved it so much so um excited for that finale reaction next week and i'm excited to hear what you guys have uh, thought about it in the season in general let me know in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps and if you want to see reactions fully unedited go to patreon.com slash jedi jive that's where i put them up see you next week guys peace